What's going on to all of my uh, Virgos out there? So let's get into it. So for you Virgos, let's shuffle this up some more, actually. Let's put the light on, too. Um, so for the Virgos, we have the Two of Swords, the King of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the King of Cups, Hierophant, the Empress, the Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords, the Eight of Cups. Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't even realize that I was done. But, okay, so for you Virgos, um, the Two of Swords, King of Swords, the Seven of Wands, right? Is <clears throat> you Virgos, like I said, you Virgos being done with somebody, right? Like, like from the last couple of readings, right? You Virgos know what it is you want. You, you know what type of relationship you want. And I'm just seeing how a lot of you Virgos at this time really cutting loose relationships. Like if these people are not functioning at a very high level, right, where they're on the same page with you, I just, I honestly see, I honestly see that you Virgos uh, are dating, trying to get to know people. But once you realize that they're probably wasting your time, you Virgos are like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Because you're not really ready to be in a relationship. Not really. Because if you were, you, you know, if someone's ready to be in a relationship, there would be no, we're trying to take this slow. How slow does a person want it to be? You're speaking to this person for a month. Again, they need to give you a time frame, Virgo. How long do they want you to wait? Two months? Three months? Six months? A year? While they figure it out, that's a dub, period. Because if they knew, again, people who are not ready to be intimate with somebody should not be in a relationship at all. They really need to be single and figure it out on their own and then come back and be like, okay, I'm going to start dating again. Because that's something that someone has to go... Uh, handle that's the type of business that somebody has to go handle on their own trying to keep somebody right trying to hold trying to hold somebody in a relationship while you're not giving them anything you're not giving them any kind of cooperation you're not working with these people you're not giving them any kind of intimacy you're not bringing any kind of money to the table you're not you're not meeting this person halfway you're not coming to any kind of com common uh excuse me common ground that's that's a dub. That's a dub. And that's what it is that you Virgos did. You Virgos understand that a lot of you, a lot of people want you to to take care of them like you are their parent or you're their or you're their their keeper. And that's not what it is that you Virgos are here to do. You Virgos are here to do your own thing. Shout out to the person I was having a, this discussion with. You know who you are. The Ten of Swords and the King of Cups, however, represents. So, so you left this person. You left this situation. And the King of Cups, you're remaining calm because you understand what it is. You understand that, you know, you know, people are out here not really being who, who they appear to be. And you understand that. So a lot of you Virgos move forward from this, right, without any kind of uh care in the world because you know what time it is so the hierophant right which normally would represent taurus the hierophant represents because you're connected a lot of the virgos are connected a lot of the virgos are connected right with with a spiritual force right it's just that a lot of people don't necessarily know that unless you watch the virgo video and you're not a virgo but the hierophant represents that that spiritual connection you Virgos know that you're looking for somebody that, that is on the same page with you. And one thing that a lot of you Virgos are starting to realize is, unfortunately, there's just not a whole lot of people that really are on the same page with you, where they want to be in a relationship with you. And they are more so specific, more so in general, 
They want to be in a relationship with somebody that they can be on the same page with. A lot of people are really wasting a lot of you Virgos time. And you Virgos know this because, if, like I said before, if a person can't seem to get anything established with you, y'all, two of y'all not kissing, y'all not doing what it is that y'all do, this person is real flaky when it comes time not a, to hang out. That's a dub. That's a dub because some people will even say that they're not wasting your time, which they are wasting it. Factually, that's what they're doing. They are wasting your time. They are because you have theory and then you have practical application, right? Theory is the idea where they're telling you, oh, I'm not wasting your time because they're, because they're steadily battling within themselves trying to figure out how they can get over their own dysfunction and delusion. But here's the situation though. The way that it but the way that it plays itself out is, right, in the other universe is or in another aspect is they are in fact wasting your time. Because while they doing that, there's no kind of forward steps. There's no kind of actual forward progress to this. So the relationship is stagnant. It's at a standstill. So <laughs> So the thing is that the Empress and the Eight of Swords is a lot, like I said, a lot of you Virgos know this and a lot of you Virgos know you don't want to be in a relationship with the, with anyone who fits this criteria. So a lot of you Virgos want to be free right now. A lot of you Virgos are doing your thing. You're not necessarily with anybody, right? Seriously, in that sense. But a lot of you Virgos are doing your thing. Um, you want to, you want to, um, you're 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 exercising your freedom, right? So a lot of you Virgos are talking to a lot of other people, trying to get to know other people, while at the same time, right? Anytime that you see someone starts showing you things that you know they may lack character or they may be wasting your time, it's a lefty. So the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Cups, what is a lefty? A lefty is a person that you leave behind because they're wasting your time. The Knight of Swords and the Eight of Cups represents, and you, you're going to, I'm not even going to lie, you will meet some of these people who do have baggage from their past relationships that you're going to have to learn to leave behind. It should be of no problem for you, Virgos. It's going to be a lot of lefties out here, <laughs> people that you leave behind. Let's clarify. <laughs> Let's clarify the, uh, the Hierophant. The Four of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups, the Hierophant. We got to no, we got to draw one more because we can't clarify a card with the same card. The Knight of Swords. So these four cards, excluding the Hierophant, of course, um, represents, again, you know what type of person that you want. Right. And this is the two of pentacles. This is why you, you know, you're like, you know what I mean? You're 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 so willing to leave a lot of people behind. Right. You're so willing to 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 have a lot of people put in the lefty zone. You know, uh, you know, you leave them alone. It's because a lot of people are not necessarily showing you because of this two of cups. They're not showing you what it is that you want to see. And what do you want to see? You want to see forward progress. A lot of you Virgos will put in an effort, a legitimate effort to get to know people. But again, people need to grow up. How long do they want you to wait? How, how many delusional scenarios are, gonna, are they going to keep throwing up? How many deflections are they going to keep throwing up? How much competition games, like it's, it's the Olympics, are they gonna are they gonna throw up? You know what I'm saying? Like, how many of these competitive um these these competitive Olympic <laughs> events are they gonna try to 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 throw up? And what I mean by that is, what I mean by that is how much how long are they gonna stall and and waste time and 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 do all do all of these off you know, all these these things that are rant is not really random, but it seems to be random and and deflections and distractions up 
to not actually have some sort of forward progress. The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, this being a situation for a lot of you, uh, Virgos, where these people want to come in. But again, it's theory in the sense that they, again, they're saying that they're not wa really wasting your time when in actuality they really are, though. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups. See, I keep talking about time wasters because you know how it is that people will waste each other's time and and beat around the bush and they won't actually like get to the point and they will know each other and they'll like each other for like two, three, four, five, six months, a year, won't actually establish any kind of relationship, won't actually get anything done, no kind of real progress where it's actually uh, the relationship is going somewhere, the relationship is actually evolving but then they'll like each other. And then a year of knowing each other because because uh, they're actually um, too scared to really say what it is, a year and change probably after they, you know, they realize that they like each other and they realize that they like each other very soon. You understand what I'm saying? But then when they realize that they like each other, now all of a sudden it's like, oh, you know, look at how much time that we ultimately wasted because you really wasted a year of your life when you could have just cut to the chase, told this person what it was. Two of y'all could have been in a relationship by the end of the month. So let's clarify. Yeah. Oh, let's clarify the Eight of Cups. Seven of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the Fool. So these four cards right here is for them. And it represents, again, they've got Seven of Swords. Again, they've got some per own personal situations that they got, their own baggage that they have to learn. Even the cards are confirming it. They have to learn to get over. They, 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 they want to do all this stuff. When people do all this stuff, they're doing all this stuff due to the fact that they really want to deflect and give you a distraction for you not to come any kind of any closer because they're essentially running away. But then why are they running away if they want to get to know you better, right? Supposedly. So the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles and the Fool represents, again, you just realize what it is. That you just going to have to learn to let any of these people who ultimately turn out to be time wasters go. Because that's essentially what it is that they're doing. You know, a year of your life is a year of your life that you could have been using to get to know somebody else. But they're playing selfish with your time because you'll never be able to get back that time. So that's all it is that I have for you, Virgos. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to get the um, YouTube channel to grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June 2023. Uh, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Also, too, my uh, link to my website which you can uh, get any one of my services uh, is in the comment section. I have Cash App. I also now have Apple Pay as well as PayPal. So I have three different payment processors. Um, you can also uh, get my books on Amazon.com, right? Books, right? I have two out. Uh, and also, too, you can also feel free to follow me on Instagram. The link to that is in the comment section as well. Peace. Appreciate it.